Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Jammer Informs. In my last video, I have shown how to create a flyout or master detail page in Jammer Informs application. In this video, I am going to show how to use checkboxes. Gonna create a new page. Okay, let's add these checkboxes in the menu. For checkbox, we have to take a checkbox tag and I will give the name of this checkbox. Jammering. Create a level. Do you like Jammering? Font size. Okay, let's run this application. Here we'll find the menu checkbox. Just click on it. Okay, that's good. You will find the a level and the checkbox. Just we can click check and unchecked. Here we will find the checkbox and the label is top and bottom. The reason for this we are using the stack layout. If we want if you want this checkbox and the level side by side, we have to use grid layout. There are different kinds of layout in German forms. Let's have a look. Here we'll find stack layout, absolute layout, relative layout, grid and flex layout. We'll use grid layout today for displaying this label and checkbox and side by side. The grid layout defines the row definition and the column definitions. Let's create a grid. The grid has row definitions. and a height default and a grid column definition and the width default width let's copy this label and checkbox and inside the grid and this is the rows and the column. We will keep this label in first rows, first column, and we will keep this checkbox in first rows, second column. For that, we have to say grid dot rows. Grid dot column zero. And Here is the column, second column. Now let's run this application. Okay, it's cool. We will find this checkbox and level in side by side. Here the checkbox and the label is take the width 
equal we want yeah, this label will take more space than the checkbox for that we have to we have to set the column first column is two time greater than second column okay that's cool it's taking the space two time bigger than second okay let's have a look some checkbox properties we will find some properties is checked is defined is checked or unchecked is enable is tab stop is visible true or false and also have some check changes properties which trigger an event when you checked or unchecked your checkbox okay I will take a level form size large text color blue so if value if the value equal true if it's checked then it will display it will be level assist for text else no never when you click this checkbox do you like jammering if true then we display yes of course if I unchecked then it will show no never Let's run this application. If I click, it shows it's override this. For that, we have to take this out of the script and let's run. Yes, of course, unchecks, no, never. That's cool. Okay. We can we can bind the checkbox into a level for this Jamarin checkbox bindings. We'll just copy this code. And just paste here. This is the checkbox and the name checkbox and the label. Here we'll find a label and there are uh, triggers. If I click on this, it will change the property of this label. It will set italic and bold and text as large just it will set font attribute italic and bold and font size large and if I uncheck it it will go into by default so let's run okay 
okay if i click on this checkbox this text properties has been changed that's good if i uncheck it going to default so that's all about checkbox thank you very much for watching my video thanks for watching my videos those who are new in my channel please subscribe my channel thank you